Oh, there we go. Look at that. We're going to we're going to do a double whammy. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Okay, well. Oh shit. Where did he come from? Welcome back everybody to Seven Days to Die. I'm an old guy gaming and this is the Wasteland Survival Series where we play Seven Days to Die on insane difficulty. Zombies are all set nightmare speed. And this map that we play on is made almost up made up almost entirely. I can't talk today. Uh, of Wasteland. Uh, we are uh, generated by the Nitrogen World Generator. Okay, so um, I uh, I did a live stream on um, on Monday, I think it was. And uh, on that live stream, uh, mostly what we did is we did the Horde Night um, and just kind of messed around a little bit. I didn't do anything, you know, really significant in terms of advancing the story. I still have to, you know, get the base upgraded. I've got lots of concrete going on here. Um, and But we have some repairs to do too because um, what I did on that live stream, and you can watch it on my Twitch channel if you're interested. Uh, I think it was about two and a half hours long or something like that. Uh, but what we did is we went into the Mega City and um, I, uh, right here, I actually set up the Daishong Tower uh, as a horde base. Because um, that's a pretty stout building. <clears throat> Unfortunately, though, right before, and I, I'm, I kid you not, <laughs> I need like seconds before the horde night started, I got ganked by um, some of the zombies on the second floor because that's where I was holding up at. And they killed me. And so I spawned back on the base here uh, right when the horde night started i mean uh, it actually it had already started it was like i don't know maybe five ten seconds into it or something like that or five ten game minutes into it it was very early on and so um unfortunately the uh, the game spawned in the horde over here and they started doing some damage so you can see i lost all my spikes down there I uh, got a little bit of damage on the concrete and, um, you know, more more damage spikes that need to be repaired. And I did not want them, uh, you know, to mess up my base. I mean, I'm not even done building it yet. And so what I did was I bailed off the edge of here and just hoofed it with the... Uh, what I figured was going to happen is they were going to chase me, you know, somewhere and catch me somewhere out there and then kill me. And then I would respawn somewhere else away from the base because I didn't want them to, you know, tear up my base, right? But, believe it or not, I actually got away from them, and I actually made it all the way back to the uh, Mega City on foot during Horde Night. <laughs> and made it back to my motorcycle, which was parked out the Daishog Tower. And then um, and then what we did is we, uh, we just kind of rode around on the motorcycle until the morning, and then in the morning I snuck back into the Daishog Tower. And uh, got my bag. Or wait a minute, did I get? Maybe I got my stuff before Horde Night, and I can't remember now. <laughs> maybe I'll have to go back and watch it myself. Anyway, it was pretty crazy. So um, yeah, if you guys are interested in watching that, it is available uh, as a VOD on my Twitch channel. Um, my Twitch channel is just you know an an old guy game. It's spelled exactly the same way uh, as it is here on the YouTube channel, and you can watch that if you want to. All right. Anyway, um, so what we have to do today is we have to. Uh, we have to repair uh, everything. Oh, I also made a runway uh, for the uh, for the the ultralight, uh, but we need to extend it out even further, which is fine because I need more clay anyway. I need to extend it out a little further because it's not quite long enough. It, it's long enough for me to land on. It's not actually long enough for, for me to take off on. It probably would be if I really timed it right, but I like it to be maybe just a little bit longer than it is. And um, it actually, you know, the ground starts to taper off downwards, which is, which would actually be beneficial because, you know, then that'll help me get a little bit of <clears throat> um, lift as I'm as I'm trying to take off. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, dig up the um, uh, the ground here uh, and, and extend it out further. I'm going to repair all the spikes and all the damage that was done. And um, I might I might even do a little bit of more upgraded on the base. I still have to add one more floor and, you know, get up the rest of that concrete upgraded. And then uh, the plan for today is we're going to jump on the ultralight or the gyrocopter, whatever you want to call it. And we're going to fly back to 
our original base up here, uh, up here, and we're going to get um, our stuff from that base, or you know, at least our more valuable items, and bring them back here. So that's kind of the uh, the main goal of today's episode. So let me go ahead and get this work done, and then I will bring you guys back when I'm finished with that, and we will go from there. Okay, so I'll see you back here in just a little bit. All right, guys, we are back. Uh, finished all the uh, the upgrades and uh, repairs. And also uh, extended the runway, as you can see out there, and got quite a bit more clay. Um, I've got even more clay than what you see here, because I put some of it back in the base. Um, all right, so it is, uh, it's is—it's actually getting too late, I think, for us to go over to uh, the old base. I don't, I don't want to be in the wasteland at nighttime. Um, the other problem that I have, uh, well, not that that was a problem, it's just kind of the way things worked out. The other challenge, I should say, that I have is that uh, I'm actually very low on gasoline now, too, because of all the augering that I did. In fact, I even had to use the shovel um, towards the end of that. So um, what we're going to do instead is we're going to spend the rest of the end game day today um, wrenching some cars out in the wasteland until nighttime comes. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go uh, work on the horde base. Iron clay. Yeah, I'm going to go work on the horde base overnight and I'll give you kind of a quick update on where we are with that. This is kind of a pain in the ass. I gotta hit it right in the corner. I might actually move all of this stuff to this box here. It's a lot easier to get at. Anyway, I'll worry about that later. Let's put the uh, additional spikes up here. Made a few extra, so that way we have some extra if we need it. Uh, let's put these boots back on here, which does have the triple storage pocket. And now we have complete unencumbrance, which is pretty fantastic. I put the shoes, uh, the tannies back on because of the stamina uh, buff that it gives you when I was uh, shoveling by hand. Okay, so let's put this back in here. We don't need that right now. We got another thing of clay. We'll just put all that in there for, moment, for the moment. Let's see, what are you doing? You are just doing clay right now. So let's do one more forged iron, and you are also just doing clay okay so we'll let that clay that's not doing anything you're working on cement so let's just keep cranking out the cement like there's no freaking tomorrow in fact we have some more stone yeah let's take i don't want to use all of my stone up at this moment but let's take half of what we have and continue feeding that into there i'll put the iron ingots back up in here too okay so um i think we don't have much time. we got to really hurry here. And we're just going to take the motorcycle because um, I do have my wrench with me, right? Yeah. Where in the hell did that come from? I don't even know. Don't need it, though. Can't sell it. Don't need it. All right. Let's go. Let's just go hit a, a couple more cars before uh, the night truly falls. And then uh, what I'll do, I'll kind of show you where I'm at so far with the horde base. Uh, re really... All I've done is dug all the way down to bedrock, but I haven't done anything more than that. Uh, and then I'll just work on that overnight, and then I'll bring you back in the morning, and that's when we'll go uh, to the old base. We'll fly to the old base and uh, get our get get some stuff from there. I'm hoping I actually have some more gasoline there too. I'm not really sure. All right, guys, we are back. It is morning time, and uh, so I spent um, the uh, rest of the night just working here on the entrance uh, to our, <coughs> excuse me, to our um, our horde base. And uh, so basically I, I dug all this out and then uh, we're going to continue to use the, you know, the steep wedges, which seem to be the go-to uh, for uh, Alpha 18 here. And so the idea here is that um, the entrance is going to be kind of like, again, a funnel or an upside down pyramid, if you want to call it that. Uh, which will funnel the zombies down into this two by two hole. And then um, that hole goes all the way down to um, probably, I don't know, I think it's like 12, 15 or so blocks above bedrock. And then I, I dug 
uh, just an, a single black hole all the way down to bedrock, you know, so I could kind of measure the distance. Uh, because what we're going to do is we're going to dig out a big, uh, a larger chamber uh, down there to to create a pit for them to, to fall in, uh, which will kind of be almost exactly the same thing as this, maybe just a little bit bigger. Um, and then a hanging platform above that pit. Uh, and the hanging part of it, of course, means that there will be no supports uh, from the ground up, which means there's no way the zombies will be able to um, <clears throat> take it down. Uh, so that's the idea behind this. And by the way, this design is not uh, my idea. Um, I've, I, there's been, I, I've seen um, a couple of different people use this uh, hanging base design. One of them is Z Nation FS, uh, FFS, I think. Uh, also one of my, you know, favorite seven days that I players. I watch his, his videos quite a bit. Uh, and then I, then the the actual design that I'm following here is more based off of a design that uh, that I have the YouTuber's name, but I'm not going to share that with you until I actually have, you know, the base pretty much built. And then I'll 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 uh, show you or link you to his video if you don't already know who I'm talking about. Just because I I don't want you to see what it's going to look like until you know I get it built. Plus, mine's not going to be exactly like his. It's going to be similar, but not exactly. So anyway, um, yeah, so we're making progress on this. It might be ready by the next Horde night. I don't know. We'll see. I'm not, I'm not rushing myself to get it done by then, you know, but if it's, re if it's ready, then it's ready. If it's not, then it's not, you know, and then we'll, we'll just keep uh, hunkering down the, um, the Daishong Tower that I showed you on the map earlier where we had our epic fail from the last Horde night is um, it's actually all, all secure and ready to go. And so all we got to do is go there and, you know, clear the second floor. And then, you know, we're, we have a pretty stout place to do hard to do hunker down Horde nights, I guess is what we'll call them um, until we can do an active fight. So, okay, let's see here. Uh, we're going to, what are we going to do? Let's drop off a few things here. Okay, so hopefully our runway is uh, big enough now. You know what? I should check him. I can't remember what day he reset. Well, you know what? It doesn't matter. Let's just go. Let's just go, and we'll. Uh, I'll check him later. Okay, just a little bit of a lift there. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. I should have done that a little bit sooner, but that's okay. And we are off on our gyrocopter, our ultralight. We are heading north. Okay, let's level out a little bit. How come you're uh, flying cricket? Or maybe that's just the angle of my camera. Oh, this is nice. Uh, I, You know, I did fly this a little bit on the stream the other night, too. And uh, it took me... A couple of attempts to figure out to kind of get used to it again because you know flying this thing for the first time or in my case flying it after you have it for a very long time it's it's a little weird you got to really get used to it because you know you're working with digital controls so you know you have to just learn kind of the feather touch sort of so to speak and uh, it's one of those things too where you know you give it a command like you know to to lift or to dive or whatever and um it's it there's kind of like a, a delayed response on it and you can use the mouse you know kind of to bank a little bit but really you know you turn with your uh your a and your d keys the other thing that's super dangerous about this and this happened to me on the stream too is that if you accidentally hit the e key you bail <laughs> i mean there is no warning saying are you sure you want to you know exit your aircraft while you're you know 800 feet up in the air kind of thing and so, <laughs> it actually happened to me, and it's like, um, yeah, not a good thing. So, hopefully that doesn't happen. Uh, I gotta just be really careful not to hit that E key. And the problem is the E key is right next to the other keys that I need to control this. So, if I get my fingers in the wrong position, um, boy, it's bad news for sure. Okay, well, anyway, so we'll just be careful of that. And uh, so, we are flying back to our our prison base which I think is going to be over here let's just quickly check the map we will start losing altitude um, here let's actually put a 
a red mark there. Okay, be careful not to hit that damn E key. And that way we'll just fly towards the red mark. That's probably something we should do before we take off, is mark our destinations uh, so we don't have to look at the map while we're in the air. I mean, we can do it and be okay for a few seconds, but the longer I do that, you know, the more altitude we start losing, so you have to be kind of careful with it. This is the way to travel across the wasteland, you guys. You don't have to worry about buzzards. I don't think they'll fly this high. We don't have to worry about uh, the, uh, you know, the big ravine holes in the ground, getting stuck on iron or other items. Yes, indeed. There's our town down there. We spent a lot of time in that town. It helped us uh, kind of get, you know, get get our feet under us and kind of get started. Did a couple of uh, pretty cool horde nights uh, in the little base we set up by the football field. But the prison is where we're actually going to go to get our stuff. And we've looted just about every building in this town. There's a couple of, uh, like, house POIs that we never actually did. Uh, but, you know, all of, like, the main big buildings uh, we did. Actually, I don't think we did the high school either. Okay, so we've got to figure out how we're going to and where we're going to land. I'm thinking maybe that little strip um, right in front of us by the football field or actually no the probably the road next to it but what we'll do is we'll we'll kind of turn around and we'll approach it from the north and we have to start descending too but yeah you got you just got to kind of have that feather touch just kind of tap on the keys gently and then wait for the aircraft to respond because what what you'll do you know the first time you're you're trying to figure this out what you'll do is you'll you'll end up um you know overcompensating right and but you don't see the effect immediately and then all of a sudden you 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 dove too far or you or you you lift it too far and then you stall out kind of thing you know so it's a little a little tricky Okay, so we'll dip down here, um, and level out, and what we want to do is we want to just have a nice gentle landing on this uh, road here. Just got to keep enough throttle going so we don't stall, but what we can do, of course, is... Okay, now we got to pick up speed, and there's the buzzards. Okay, that wasn't too bad of a landing. Let's just drive over to... Oh! <laughs> we'll drive over to the prison. I think my um, rotors can... Alright, you son of a bitch. Anybody else? I was going to say, I, ho I think my rotors should be able to fit through there. We just got to make sure we have a clear path back up just a little bit get around this uh, iron crap here hmm if we're gonna take off back off that way we might need to clear some stuff out of the way but we want to park right here because this is basically the entrance to our base <laughs> Okay, cool. Well, that worked out pretty good. Um, let's refuel. It's really not that far away either, you know, if you think about it. If you consider the size of this entire uh, entire map, uh, we, <laughs> we really weren't that far away from the, you know, the the forest biome okay well here's let's do this and let's get all this crap out of the way so we have a clear shot when we when it's time to leave and what we'll probably do is we'll get you know we'll get our speed up but we might kind of aim towards the right of the cafe so we have a little bit more 
Oh, you know what we could do? We could just taxi to here and then take off this way. That's probably what we'll actually do. I don't think this will be a problem, but let's just get rid of it anyway. Is there stuff in there? No. Yeah, my, uh, my settings uh, on this game, for those of you who don't know, are there's no response. So once we loot something, it's uh, that's it. It'll, it'll never have anything else. So there's no, you know, no point in me trying to redo the working stiffs because we've already cleared it out. Uh, I don't think that's a mine. I think I checked that earlier. Yeah, we are going to have repops in the prison, too. Um, that's... I forgot about that. So we'll have to deal with that, too. Let's just get this stuff out of the way. It's not really in the way, but... Okay, so that gives us a clear path. Um... Yeah, that's not a... that's not a landmine. Okay. I don't remember really what all we have in here either, so we're not necessarily going to take everything. We probably don't have enough room to take everything, but we're just going to take the more useful, valuable items um, that we need. Probably Zeke's inside of there. Okay, we don't need to take that stuff back with this. Uh, yeah, I'll leave, I'm even going to chuck the scrap iron just because inventory's at a premium here. Yeah, we got rid, got somebody's attention. Are they in here? Oh, yeah. Okay. They just broke my, um... Oh. That spiker dude. You know, I wonder if I should, uh... I wonder if I should start using some landmines. Should have probably kept that scrap iron and keep this door repaired. It's alright, we'll, we'll just blast these guys as soon as they come through. somebody else down below too come on man break it what are you waiting for oh man this is not good Shit. Well, maybe actually this is the best strategy. You know, just to kind of draw them away from here. That's some pretty heavy resistance. Okay, come on, assholes. He's a fast asshole. <laughs> ah! Ah! Just about hit me. The one downside to doing this, though... Oh, man, look how fast he is. The one downside to doing this is... that we could get new repops, but... Yeah, those... I just don't have the firepower to, to kill that guy. He's so tough. So tough. Okay, well... Let's go back. Sometimes the repops are not as uh, intense. <laughs> I was just checking my gas level on that. Okay, let's try this again. <laughs> it 
See, the other thing is, is I don't want them to ruin my my stuff in here either. My storage in particular. We're pretty safe from anything down below. It's just anything that's up above that could get to us. Oh, shit. You know what? We could probably kill him. He's not quite as bad as the biker. Oh, shit. Speaking of which. <laughs> oh, my God. That scared me. Ah, you asshole. That's too far away for the shotgun. Yeah, here it comes. Yeah, we just need a little bit of a... A little bit of luck here and have the RNG put them all downstairs and not all of them upstairs. We don't even need to be there that long. We just need to get into our storage and stuff. Because I'm not... You know, I can't... I can't pick up any of the workstations anyways because the land claim's no longer in place. All right, let's go around this way. That other glower was over here too. I don't, hopefully he's still not around. Yeah, I need to focus. I mean, we're, we have decent shotgun skills. I think we're level three. That's not too bad. But what I need to do is, is I need to focus on machine gunner because that's our oh shit weapon, you know? I mean, I could kill the biker with the M60, but it's going to take, like, at least half a magazine to do it. Which, by the way, speaking of magazines, I can uh, make the drum magazine now. Which we need to make for the M60. Alright, let's try this again. Third time's a charm, eh? Okay, that room's clear. Got some dudes over that way. We have there's nothing over there that we need to get to. So let's um let's let's go ahead and just erect a a temporarily a temporary wooden wall here. That'll buy us a couple of seconds to get out of here if we uh aggro the oh shit, are you kidding me? I don't have anything to upgrade those with. Okay, well, here. Let's do this. Let's quietly... I'm going to turn that off, too. And, of course, it's a biker. Uh, okay, I don't even remember how... I, <coughs> excuse me, how I had these chests organized. Didn't we have a, a chem bench over here? We did. It must have gotten destroyed. Oh, well, it doesn't matter. Okay, let's open this one first. Yikes. Okay. Yeah, okay, we got a hammer here. Uh, we want all ammo and ammo materials. Um, I think these guns... Oh, there we go. Look at that. Uh, these lower level guns, or at least the brown ones for sure, I'm going to scrap... Because later on, we're going to want to make an SMG, and we'll need the parts for that. I mean, I could make some pretty nice money off of these, but how many pistol parts do we already have? We have nine. Now, you know what? Let's just scrap these, because it's going to give us more inventory space. These we will take, repair, and sell. Probably we'll sell that. We'll sell all of that stuff. The feathers are one thing I might not take with me just because, you know, I mean, we have plenty of them. We'll see. We'll, we'll keep them here for now, and if, if we have room, when it's all said and done, uh, we'll take them. We definitely want gunpowder. We want paper. We want tool parts. Uh, you know what I need are steel tool parts. Okay, good. We have 15 of those. All of this stuff, you know, is definitely worth taking to sell if for no other reason. Um, 
don't think we need an anvil now. Pretty sure I made or bought. Well, I am not 100% sure that I did that. So we're going to take that with us too. This, I think we'll scrap for more machine motor tool parts because we don't need it. I mean, I could make some pretty good money if I repaired it, but hmm, I don't know. Okay, here, here let's do this. Um, I'm going to grab this guy. Don't want to wake him up. Okay, what we're going to do... I don't know if, if they have to directly step on those. But what we're going to do is encourage him to go down the right path here. We're going to put him on the right path. Straighten that guy up. Make him change his ways. That's what we're going to do. Okay, the explosion radius, I think, does it tell us what that is? Uh, it doesn't. All right, well, let's assume it's five like it would be with a nade. So one, two, three, four, five. That's, uh... We're gonna, we're gonna do a double whammy on the first one. Okay. There we go. How much wood do I have? Oh, we got lots of wood. <clears throat> now, again, this is just a bias enough time to get out of here without him just being right on top of us. I doubt those landmines are going to kill him, but they will soften him up a little bit. Okay, so let's not worry about him right at the moment. Let's go ahead and offload our first uh, batch of stuff here. Oh, man, it's raining. Of course it is. So we got a decent amount of storage in here. That goes there. <laughs> okay. Let's go back, get an another load here. Sure, we don't have repops in these rooms. <laughs> that would be bad, huh? In fact, here let's uh let's discourage that from happening too, or at least again buy us a little bit of time. Come on, upgrade. All right, so let's finish this chest out. Uh, so we're gonna grab all tool parts and armor parts. These could sell for a decent amount. We're not going to take that. Um, you know, if we upgrade them, because we don't really need spare wrenches anymore. And I think when you, I don't, I think they just scrap into scrap iron, right? Yeah. Okay. Well, I'm not going to take, I'm not going to take the brown ones. Um, in fact, I probably won't even take the orange one, but we will take these, all the green tools. And this guy, like I said, I think I would rather get the parts than the money for that. So let's go ahead and scrap him. I, I know that was a lot of money we just gave up, but it's all right. It's all right. Okay, I don't think there's anything else in here we need to take, unless we have room at the very end, which we probably won't. Okay, what do we have in here? Uh, definitely going to take all of the concrete... We'll take the rebar, 6,000 iron, yes please. 
Yeah, we're going to take that. We even have a little bit of oil shale there. Look at that. We're going to grab that because, you know, if we get into a situation where we're desperate for gas, a.k.a. means I ran out and forgot to go get more kind of thing, uh, we can make some. I, I must have gotten that from some loot, or maybe I bought it off the trader. I don't remember. But this is all really valuable stuff that we want to take with us. See, we're running out of space already. Okay, well, that's it for the for the chopter copter. Let's hold the gas on our inventory. And uh, so everything else that we can take, we're going to have to hang on to. And we have to remember to, to leave one spot for the motorcycle, too, so... I'm going to put this hammer in here. I'm not going to actually take it with us when we leave, but we'll put it in there for now in case we need it again. I don't think we'll get repops with us being this close, but we'll see. Okay, what else? We want the oil shale. I mean, that is a lot of rotting flesh. I mean, we're going to need that stuff eventually. I don't know, though. I mean... Those, all of this stuff here, as valuable as it is, you know, this stuff here, we can, we can easily obtain that. I mean, I've got a coal mine. That's like maybe two, minute and a half to two minutes of mining with the auger. Yeah, maybe three minutes. So let's wait on this stuff. That would go a long ways towards some crop plots, but let's just wait on that stuff. What do we have in here? Well, obviously, we want this stuff. There's no question that we want that stuff. Um, improved fittings mod. Steel tools. Cowboy hat mod. Customized fittings. What, is, what do these do? Make us go faster, right? Yeah, more mobility. Okay. Uh, I don't really care about these mods, and they're not, they're not really worth a lot of money, so... All right, what do we got in here? None of that stuff's important. Um, let's look in here. Okay, yeah, we definitely want all of this medical stuff. I want that cornmeal because we'll eventually come across the chili dogs thing. Whew, look at all the meat, too. We've got four more slots left. <laughs> That's it. Four more slots left. Okay, you know what? We don't need that because we got plenty of it. I want those... Vitamins. Don't we don't really need the beakers. Yeah, I hear you, you stupid plane. We could make a lot of first aid kits with these. Oh geez, it's hard to decide. Um Okay, hold on. Let's look. What do we got in here? Uh, so much stuff. You know what? I might have to come back. I might have to make two trips. I mean, here, let's take this for sure. That's just too much stuff, guys. Too much valuable stuff. Yeah, we're going to probably have to make another trip. I'll probably do the second trip off camera, though. Because uh, I just don't want to leave all of that behind. I mean, not the engines so much. And even the batteries. Even though, you know, we could sell those and make a little bit of money. But, yeah. That's just too much stuff to leave behind. Okay, so. um, We still have four more slots. Is We didn't. Oh, look at that. You know what? I think I'll take those. I mean, I know I can make them, but since we're going to come back anyway, we might as well just grab that stuff. All right. So that being the case, then, uh, since we are going to come back, we don't care about that. So let's just finish out, or at least take some more stuff out of here. So let's take the bacon and eggs. Um... I want to take a full thing of grain alcohol, and we'll grab the other one on the way back. And that's all we can do, because we are gonna we need to pick up the motorcycle uh, for there. No, actually, we have two slots left, don't we? Okay, um, let's put... I don't know. Where's my wrench? Oh, did I... I must have put my wrench in the... Uh, in the copter. Okay, so we can take one more thing. How about if we take, there's 500 bank right there. It doesn't really matter because we're coming back. Let's just take a stack of meat. What the hell? 
Okay. Yeah, so I, I'm, I'm going to come back here. Because uh, we have too much valuable stuff. And let's see, it's 1230, so I'll probably just do that today. Uh, I will fly home, drop stuff off, and then come back. And uh, hopefully I'll luck out and, you know, won't have any repops in this, this part of the building. But I'm going to do that off camera because it's time for us to go. We've already gone pretty long. Before we leave, though, let's go ahead and wake this guy up and have some fun with him. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Okay, well... Oh, shit! Where did he come from? <laughs> Time to go. Time to go. Oh, we gotta pick up our motorcycle, don't we? Shit, I forgot about that. <laughs> okay, here, let's get the ultra light out here. Whoa! Easy. Let's get the ultra light out here so we can get it ready to take off. Okay, we gotta run back and grab our motorcycle really quick. We do have one spot, right? Yeah, okay. You bastard. Okay, here. Actually, no, no, I'm not doing this right. Yeah, be smart about this old guy. I was gonna pick it up and then run back, but it's like, no, <laughs> don't do that. Use your brain. Okay, so he's not pursuing us any longer. <laughs> yeah, I think those those landmines probably pissed off that uh, irradiated biker more than it did any damage to him. <laughs> I'm not sure how much damage those things actually do. All right, we don't have anything in the inventory, right? Nope. Okay, we are out of here. We are out of here. Let's go. There we go. That was a nice little takeoff. Not too bad. But you know what? We forgot to do those. We forgot to mark our bait. Well, actually, we can just head towards the bed. We don't have to put the red marker down. All right, guys. Well, that's it for this episode. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. It was kind of fun. And uh, like I said, I'm I'm just go home. I'm bleep, talk. I'm gonna go home, uh, drop off this load, and come right back and get the other load. And I'm just gonna do that off camera because you know you, it's you pretty much see what it was. I might have to fight a couple more Zeeks to do that, but you know whatever. And uh, in the next episode, I'm not really sure what we're gonna do. We need to continue working on trader quests. So that will probably be our next episode. We'll probably do the next trader quest. Should we try and grab it? Well, we don't have... I was going to say, we don't... We could maybe try and grab a buried treasure while we're out here, but we don't have room, so... We'll just have to do that another time. Change our heading, so we're heading right towards the bed. Whoop, not that far. Okay. All right, guys, take care. Uh, stay safe. We'll see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.